Hello guys, how are you doing? I uh, wanted to, to first of all show you that I have a pink switch and you're probably wondering how did I do that when it was green, greenish teal turquoise. <laughs> I just googled pink sticker decal for Nintendo Switch Lite and I arrived at I think it was extreme skins or something so I, I bought it there. No sponsorship Jesus. I bought it. The process of getting it on my Switch, that was basically just a uh, blow dryer. That was really important so that you could get the edges more smooth. But the thing is, I have two Switches and you know what? I don't necessarily think that it was smart of me to have two Switches. Okay, listen up. I like to play on TV, so I do that with this one. Since I have Nintendo Online feature stuff so that I can transfer a save file, there's no issues with transferring a save file across my two Switches. Unless we are talking about the few games that don't support that. Like Animal Crossing, Pokemon Sword and Shield, and some other games I don't remember. So it's basically no issue with exactly that point. And another thing is that I prefer this one in handheld because I have such a nice grip for it. Uh, it's just, you know, I wish that this one could go over to the TV because I want to have everything. So I have to play this one on TV. And I enjoy, is what I want to say, playing this handheld more than that one. But the worst part with having two Switches is not the transferring of save files. I can live with that. Uh, besides, I have plenty of storage space on both of them because I have two Nintendo SD cards, SanDisk 200 and something giga mega card, if you know what I mean. Uh, so there's no issue with any of that. It is uh, simply another thing that uh, I don't know if a lot of people care about this, but apparently I care a little about it since I'm talking about it. That is, my recorded play times are incorrect. Apparently, when I transferred my account from this to this, all of my hours played data was wiped. And some of them were correct and some of them were wiped. That is so annoying. Why is that not synced up to the internet? I don't understand. For example, I lost the hours played on Breath of the Wild. Now it says, played it for a little while. I had originally played that for 230 hours. And Nino Kuni says, played for a little while. That is embarrassing. Atelier Raisa, all Atelier games, played for a little while. Is this something that has annoyed you as well? Leave a comment about that. It has actually been like... Now what's the point in, in seeing how long I played a game when all of the times are incorrect? I did not play Nino Kuni for a little while. So that's just a minor annoyance with having two switches. You can still have two switches. One of them will be your primary switch and you do that in the eShop and the other one will be your secondary switch. Uh, it's fine, all of that. It's, it's just that one thing that is a... If you care about that sort of thing to begin with, that is... It is a con with having two switches. But I gotta say that the Switch Lite has a longer battery. And I know that because I can feel that. I can, I can truly feel that. I don't know, do you think Nintendo will even fix that? And combine all the play times across your Nintendo account, even though you have several switches, to be, you know, to show the correct play time. It's just a tiny thing that I thought of and I thought it would be a, uh, a nice thing to just talk about in a video. Well, the other thing is that while we are on two annoyances, my Joy-Con started drifting. What do I do about that? Well, I gotta buy a new Joy-Con. I don't want to go through all the hassle again to send it in and wait two, three months to have my Joy-Con back. That happened actually in 2018, if you remember, if you were here at that time. And I didn't have my Joy-Con for months. That was weird. So you know, it's not even worth it. So I'm just gonna, you know, buy new Joy-Cons. I had another set of Joy-Cons, but I gave that away to someone that needed it <laughs> more than me because I had two sets of Joy-Con. But now I'm ending up uh, needing another one. If I hit down on the analog stick, it, my character doesn't even, you know, move. This video is really weird, isn't it? Uh, I can touch in on what I have been playing lately because I know some of you are 
always interested in listening in on what I have been playing lately. And that has been Pine. I have had that game on my wish list for forever <laughs> since it uh, was released and I put it on my wish list. And so it was on sale. But I gotta say, the game did not give a good first impression because it is uh, struggling in performance. Mm, very struggling. But it's a nice game. If you can find it for cheap, I recommend it because it is a 3D game that is kind of original in the sense of that you have to uh, grind for certain factions in the land in order to trade with them. So, uh, Pine. It is looking really good though. It's just struggling a little bit in performance. So that is what I'm playing this Easter. Mm. And another game. This game I'm even more excited about and I just want to, you know, have it said that I recommend this game as well. And that is A Knight's Quest. And I can't believe I have not gotten this game until now. I had it on my wish list and I've never seen any reviews of it, I don't think. I don't remember. But it was better than I thought it was going to be. Because I think that is probably like the closest thing to Zelda Ocarina of Time I have ever played. That is not Zelda in, in the Zelda franchise. Uh, it is so taking inspiration from Zelda. Ocarina of Time is what comes to mind first, but you know, any 3D Zelda game would do. And that is like, it is temples, you can roll, and uh, it's just the animation and the camera, use of camera angles, and how you are getting a new item and holding it up. And there's a bunch of Zelda-esque elements in A Knight's Quest. And it is also on sale now, so that is why I picked up both of those games now recently. To have something, you know, to play in between my Animal Crossing obsession. So, two really nice recommendations. And don't you forget that I told you, if you end up buying one of those. Lately I have also tried to get back into Witcher 3, but I feel like Witcher 3 is so hard to really get into. It's like I play for four hours and I put it away for a week and I play for one hour and I just can't get truly into it. But I'm getting there. I am really working hard on that. So, you know, I'm, I put it away and I get back to it sometimes. I have that sort of relationship with Witcher 3 these days. I know it's Quest and Pine. Good games. Uh, if you are gonna choose one of them, I wanna say A Knight's Quest, because it doesn't struggle as much as Pine does. Pine has potential, is what I wanna say. Uh, like you saw in the beginning of the video, that is um, me and Isha man. We have, well, basically that was all we did this Easter. We drove over to his mom's place and we drank coffee outside of her house. You know, social distancing with the corona situation. That was a cold adventure. What are you doing this uh, Easter? Let me know. Now, please follow my Instagram. I normally say Twitter, but I want you to follow my Instagram. I've started getting more active on Instagram. I enjoy the filters on Instagram. Slumber filter all the way. Thank you so much for watching as always. Stay safe, keep distance, and uh, I don't know, check out the Night's Quest. Maybe Pine. Sort of. Try not to have two switches. It's not worth it. And I will see you later.